All right, we are on to the wash stage. Uh, for this, I'm actually using Game Color um, Sepia Shade Wash. Uh, comes in a pretty big container, which is nice for a project this size. I don't have to buy it's 200 milliliters. I don't have to buy like four or eight milliliter bottles and a whole bunch of them. I've used a fair amount. This container was almost full, um, and it's down to here now. So uh, I've used a fair amount for the first. 11 tiles. This is going to be the 12th tile. I Originally I was doing a 50-50 mix of this and water, um, but I didn't like how dark, it wasn't dark enough for what I was looking for, so I'm actually using straight up 100% uh, mix of this solution. It works well. However, I am having a little bit of an issue um, with some brush strokes showing up. I was in a hurry and I wasn't really being careful. So you can see there's a fair amount of places where there's brush strokes in here that I'm gonna have to deal with. I think I have a plan for that. We'll talk about in the next couple stages to work on getting rid of some of that. Um, but for the wash on this tile here, we're gonna just go ahead and open up the bottle. I shook it up real well before I started. Grab a fairly large paintbrush. This is a big tile after all. And then uh, I try not to get too much on the brush at once. And then we're just gonna go ahead and strip, get it all the way down the sides. I want to um, make sure I get it all in the nooks and crannies. It's a wash, obviously, so you want it covering everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get all of the facing parts here so you can see what I'm doing. And then I'm also gonna uh, get into the crevices at the corner here and the flat tiles. So this is where you have to be a little more careful, a little more conscientious about how you're doing this. So I try to get the wash in all the corners and crevices and then I'm gonna go back through with a real light brush stroke. And I'm just gonna try and push everything off so that you're not leaving brush marks in there. You don't wanna push really hard and the goal is not to leave that pattern in there. So that's what we're gonna do for the wash. I'm gonna go ahead and cover the whole tile. I'll come back when it's done and uh, show you what that looks like. All right, this tile is washed completely. Uh, you can see I was much more careful smoothing out the brush strokes, not to leave the big gloopy mess in there to, to show off the brush strokes. I'll see if I can zoom in a little bit. You can take a closer look at the tiles um, and see so the coloration is definitely a much more icky brown look now with the, uh, all the layers that are on there, which is what we're looking for, corrosion goop. So that's this stage. We'll be back with the next stage, which will be back to sponging again, I think. All right, we're back for a little bit of a progress check where we're at right now. I finished the wash, so I'm going to spin around here. But this is what the board looks like now. If you look on the left over here, this is the side where I realized I was putting it in a little too thick and wasn't paying attention to the brush strokes. So the brush strokes are much more faint. If we cross over to these eight tiles, you can start to see where some of it pooled up and did some weird stuff like that. I'm not super concerned with it at this point. I think by the time all the other effects are on there, It'll be minimal and they'll be mixed in amongst the board so it won't be super noticeable. Um, I don't know if you can tell on here, this tile is definitely darker than the tiles around it. This tile actually has a 50% 50 50-50 uh, water and uh, sepia shade uh, layer and then a full 100% sepia shade layer. I think what I'm actually going to do is end up airbrushing the entire rest of the board with that 50-50 water and sepia shade. Um, one, that'll kind of mask some of the brush strokes and two, it will darken it up a little bit. I don't wanna say I dislike this color. I think it would work, but I was looking for something a little darker. So I think that's my uh, strategy to get to that darker shade is just to add another coat. And I'm only, I'm really gonna focus on the, the floor, the floor panels. I'm not gonna pay attention to the walls. If you look at the walls, they're pretty um, pretty great the way they are. There is some variation, some are a little bit lighter, some are a little bit darker, but I don't think that's gonna matter, especially for the look I'm going for here. So that's where this is at. The next time we're back, I will probably have done a 50% coat. 
coat of the shade over all of the rest of the tiles other than this one right here because it's already been done. Uh, we may check in somewhere in the middle there and talk about putting that coat on. Okay, so this is the last tile I need to do to uh, do the 50-50 wash over the tile. I'm really, like I said earlier, I'm focusing on the, um, the center of the floor piece, each tile here. I'm not really covering the whole thing, just the center. I want to leave some lighter color on the raised edges. Um, I'm going to try and shoot this left-handed and airbrush with the right. You can obviously hear my compressor kicking on and off in the back. Um, I'm also going to do this without uh, face mask, breathing protection. I don't recommend this normally, but should be fine for this quick thing. Uh, you'll notice that I move quickly through it. It's not because I'm in a hurry. I'm really just, I don't want a lot of the wash on each individual tile. So that's, that's why there's speed involved. All right, here we go. I'll try not to talk too much over the compressor because it's going to start running constantly now. Just the center, leaving the edges alone. So that's it. I do have uh, this is this is a nice one for this. It's got the jar gravity, uh, it's not gravity feed, uh, suction feed, and I do have the nozzle cranked all the way open so it gives me the widest spread with each blast so I don't have to sit there and, and fill in each line multiple times. So that's what that looks like. We'll be back with the next step. We should be dry brushing bleached bone next.